Hey, what's up troops? Welcome back. 104th Maverick checking in with another video. Welcome to the FA-18C cockpit. This is going to be a quick video on how to operate the GBU-12, which we have four on board. The GBU-12 laser-guided bombs with the poor man's targeting pod. I'm going to show you guys how to drop these weapons CCIP using the AGM-65E for Echo Maverick. So the first thing we're going to do is work out what our JTAC code is on the ground. So we see that we have Banjo-11 is lasering Estrella on the ground on code 1681. Now we're using the fantastic CTLD script by Siribob, which we have running on the 104th server. Um, it's also running on quite a lot of other servers, so I'm, I'm sure it's something you probably had exposure to in the community. So what we're going to do now is set up our Mavericks for 1681. So within our stores page, we've selected Maverick. We've selected UFC on the right hand side to box both the codes. Now we're going to select code on the UFC and input 1681. You see there that we get 1681 in both Maverick boxes there. Now let's just say we wanted to have two different codes, so one Maverick on one code and another on another. We would take the second Maverick on its own and box it and select it as 1682 or whichever code we wanted to do. And then by pressing UFC again we can select which box that we actually want to change. So we selected it to go back to 1681. And there we go, both Mavericks now operating back again on 1681. And we can press the step function to choose which Maverick we want to fire first. So both are set on 1681, we'll go and set up our GBU-12s now. So you see we've selected it, the weapon on the left is boxed, you can see by the box around the weapon, the weapon on the right doesn't have a box on it, so that we know that this is the weapon on the left hand side that we have selected. Similar to the setting up the code for the um, Maverick, but a little bit different. This time we press code instead of USC. Then we come onto the UFC panel and click code and enter in 1681, because that's the laser code that we're going to be working on. Then we're going to press step to go to the next set of weapons, which is on the right hand side of the aircraft. Again, we're going to press code on the stores page, code on the UFC, and then we're going to press 1681 to box 1681 in the, in the code. UFC in this case just changes the quality of this quality, the quantity and the multiplier. It doesn't actually set the laser code this time. So um, you just have to remember with the bombs, you press step to change which station you want, press code first, and then press code on the UFC. So we're just going ahead and fusing our weapon now. So we've fused the me mechanical fuse to nose, electrical fuse to instant, and we've selected the mode on CCIP. We have 23 miles to run until the waypoint for the target area. So we're all set up. We have the Maverick set on um, 1681 and we have all four GBU-12 set on 1681. So what we're going to do, we're going to disengage the autopilot here. And we're going to find the laser with the Maverick first. And then we're going to switch to the GBU-12 and deploy the GBU-12 CCIP. So the target's just down there on our left hand side somewhere. We're 16 miles out now. So we're going to select air to ground mode, we're going to select our Maverick, we're going to keep the master arm in the safe position just now. And we're going to turn in and we're going to go master arm on and then we're going to uncage the weapon and start looking for this laser. We're going to find out a, a rough location. So there's a the master arm on, we're going to uncage the weapon now, weapon's uncaged, it instantly finds the laser, we'll zoom in a little bit. So you see that's where the laser location is. So I don't need to keep flying straight towards it, I'm going to cage the weapon back again. And we're going to start coming round uh, to position for a good drop on top of this target. So I've made a mental note in my mind about where the target is. So I'm just offsetting a little bit to the, the right hand side here. And we're going to climb up above 30,000. Now this is an SA-13 that we're engaging so it can shoot back at us if we get low enough. So we're, we're aiming to have this weapon on its way by, certainly by 18,000 feet. And then we want to be recovering well above 15,000 feet so that we're out of danger. So we're going to nose up a little bit more just to get a little bit extra altitude over the jet. Give us more time going down range. You see the laser location was in that where I was circling with the mouse. It's there somewhere. So we still have the Maverick selected at this point because we're going to re-lock the laser with the Maverick first. Just to make sure we're going to drop the weapon in the right place. 
I'm confident now that we're high enough above the target that the weapon's going to reach, so I'm going to deploy the air brake so we get as much time going downhill as possible. Uncage the Maverick again to lock the laser. Maverick's locked on the laser, right off the nose now. We're going to switch to the GBU-12, CCIP. We're going to bring the nose up a little bit. Don't have to be too accurate. Three, two, one, pickle. Weapons away. Master arm back on, because we're a trained professional. And we've unselected air to ground mode as well, so that we can't... Um, well, we're not going to accidentally drop a weapon because the master arm's off, but just freeze up our HUD symbology. And we'll take a zoom in so we can see this weapon impacting. Boom! Shacking him up. So that's Estrella down. You'll see that the JTAC's telling us Estrella is down and he's now lazing the second Estrella on code 1681. So we're going to queue up and get set up to come round and drop another weapon on 1681. Same process, guys. We're going to find the laser with the Maverick and then we're going to switch to the GBU-12 and deploy the weapon. Now this time, I'm going to actually show you the full CCIP um, symbology. So on the first drop, we didn't actually see the cross at the bottom of the CCIP drop line. This time I'm going to show you the cross, just to show you some different ways on how you can drop these weapons. You don't have to be too accurate, as long as, you're, as, long as you give the weapon enough um, room and enough time to manoeuvre onto the target, it is going to hit it. But I'll show you a, a slightly different way of dropping the weapon this time, where we actually, like I said, we'll see the cross at the bottom of the CCIP drop line. And then we'll reset off to the east, and I'm going to show you a, a sort of a CCRP style drop, but still using CCIP, so stand by. So we selected air ground, we've got the Maverick selected, the Master Arm is still safe at the moment. So we're going to roll over, we're going to go Master Arm live, we're going to uncage the weapon and lock the laser, and then we're going to switch to the GBU-12. So rolling over, air brakes out, uncage the weapon with the Master Arm on, laser's locked right below us, we're going to switch to the GBU-12, we'll, we see the, the, the cross line, the bomb fall line there, we see the cross, we're going to bring that to roughly where the laser was, Three, two, one. Pickle. Weapons away. Unselect dirty ground mode. Air, uh, master arm is safe. Coming off cold. Don't want to get too low. 11,000. That's a little bit lower than we were hoping for, but we're okay. We're not getting shot at. Back over the shoulder looking for the Sam. Shack. Shacking him up. Nice. So both Sams have been taken out. The uh, JTAC Banjo 1 1 is now telling me that he's lazing a T 55 tank on code 1681. So what we're going to do now is, like I said, we're going to reset out to the east. I'm going to turn back around. We're going to target it in the same method. We're, we're still going to use the Maverick to find the laser, except this time we're going to be dropping um, from a straight and level profile. We're actually going to be climbing a little bit when we drop the weapon this time. So this is a, a very similar to a CCRP drop without actually programming in the waypoint to drop it and things like that. So this is, again, this is another method for you guys to use in mission. This style of weapon delivery, this style of weapon drop is very good against things like SA-15, SA-6, SA-3. As long as you can find the laser with your Maverick um, and then give the, the weapon enough altitude and enough time to reach the target, then you've got some good standoff capability here. Myself and 104th Mustang were dropping GBU-12s on SA-15s from about 15 miles away yeah, a couple of days ago, so it's very handy. So same process, Master Arm on, Maverick selected, Master Arm is going live now. We found a laser, there's a laser down there, laser's locked on. We're going to nose up and we're going to come back to 240, the laser was right in front of us. We're going to select the GBU-12 CCIP. We're going to nose up just a little bit, and we're going to drop the weapon. Boom. Weapons away. He's going to start um, flowing down towards the target. He's got enough airspeed. He's got enough altitude. He's going to be able to glide all the way in there. Master arm saved. Air to ground mode is unselected. And we're coming off target. Have a, look, a, little, a little look at the bomb on its way down. So he's making his, his adjustments and stuff, he's doing 570 knots, so he's got a lot of energy. So I'm absolutely confident this guy's going to make it. And again, this is just a great profile for us for standoff and capability, we don't have to be getting so close to the SAMs. 
we can if, as long as you're going fast enough guys and you're high enough you can drop these gbu 12s from 15 miles away up, at, up above 30,000 feet you have to have a good idea of where the laser is though which is why it's such a good idea to use the maverick e as a little bit of a poor man's targeting pod boom and there we go guys shack shacking up from a good range away i mean we weren't 15 miles away but we were a good distance away so I hope you enjoyed that, I hope you learned something, I hope you uh, can take this into the, the server or whichever missions you guys play and, uh, and have some fun deploying a GBU-12. I've uploaded a copy of this training mission into the, um, the video description guys so you can download it and practice with the working CTLD script if you want to do so. Thanks so much for watching, make sure you watch Top Gun, I'll catch you next time. Maverick out.